welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is shirley also known as backtalk and i do anything disney if you're coming back welcome back today i have a pin haul now if you would have asked me a year ago are you gonna have pin hauls in your channel i would have said absolutely not and then if you ask me now i would say yeah probably there's a high chance <laughs> so what i did is i bought a bunch of trader pins and I want to show you what I got to trade. Now, this video I'm making before I go to Disney World. We're going to be in Disney World in a couple of weeks. So I am just prepping up and getting all my pins ready for when I go and we pin trade. My husband and I recently got into pin trading. We are new, new, new to it. Like new. And I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm new. Like what you're seeing is what I have. Like this is it. These are my pins. Again, if you were here since the beginning of my channel, oh, so see, thank you. Um, but if you were here, I only have like one pin, maybe two. I did not collect them. This has happened since I started my channel. I am not an avid collector. I know nothing about pin trading. All I know is that my husband likes it. It's something to do between rides. And there's some really cute ones. <laughs> so I go based off that. Like what makes me happy and what would I want? um it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm trading for the best ones or anything like that but yeah i do have a video like this out already when we went to disneyland for three days and i showed you my journey and i showed you what i had before and what i had after i have so many that i can't do that so i'm going to show you now what i'm taking to disney world and then once i'm at disney world i'll do a whole video of us pin trading show you where we pin traded show you our favorite spots and then i'll do a video showing you the final results so you can see like before during the trading and then after the trading what i ended up with in my last video it was a little controversial i don't want to say controversial you were all very nice about it but you know some people were telling me that i like got scrappers out of it or that the ones i had were better and i traded for less better ones and i honestly don't know so if you have any tips for me please leave them on the comments if i show you any pins that you're like that's a good pin keep it please tell me in the comments because I don't know. I don't know any better. <laughs> I really don't. And when I say pin trading, we're going to like the pin boards in the stores and we're just pin trading. Like I've only traded with a person twice. That's it. <laughs> and the person was really nice. And I was just like, I have this. And I literally opened my hand and I was like, take whatever you want. That's how like uncomfortable I was. But yeah, please leave me tips. But without further ado, because I've talked for like three minutes now. I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, I want to show you the pins. I'm going to do close-ups so you'll see my little hands. And then, yeah, um, I'll see you in a little bit. Let's go ear of it. Okay, so I don't have time to take them out of the package because it's just so many. And hopefully this background works for you. It's a uh, swimsuit cover. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go over them. You're going to notice that a lot of them are from Bookman's. That is my thrifted store. I made so many videos about it. Um, but I buy a lot of Disney stuff from there. So you're going to see, be able to see the prices. And then just imagine that I bought most of this with credit and some of them are traders, some of them I'm keeping. I don't remember what I bought. I just remember seeing them and getting excited and just putting a bunch of them at the cash register. So we'll be deciding right now as I film. <laughs> so the first one I have is Duffy Bear. This one is definitely a hundred percent a keeper. I collect Duffy Bear in France. It was $4. Can you believe it? And he's wearing, I think it's Peter Pan hat. Some of you can correct me. I'm sure someone will if I say any of these wrong. <laughs> the next one I have is this Mickey um, with like butterflies. There's like a hidden Mickey right there. He's holding corn. I don't know why I really like this one. It made me think of spring. I'm definitely keeping it. It says uh, 550 and it says jungle Mickey pin. Um, very, very cute. I think that's the date they received it, 1021, but I could be wrong or the date they made it. I have no clue. This one's a trader. I have no clue what it is. I've seen a couple of these on trading posts, so I'm assuming people buy these to like complete their pack so i'm hoping that's what this is so this one's probably going to be a trader along with that one is this i have no clue what it is if somebody can enlighten me i would love it again four dollars i've seen them on trading post so i'm hoping it's just a collection and somebody's trying to complete it the next one let's see what it is it's this bambi one it's a little square again hidden mickey it looks like it's probably from like a mystery pack or a completion pack i have no clue what i'm talking about <laughs> uh, but it was four dollars and i am trading i am not a bambi fan well i don't know i just haven't given it a chance in a long time the next thing i have is another duffy bear this one again was 650 oh snap i should have said something this one was four and this one was six Oh, but they're different colors. Somebody enlightened me on this. Was it from a mystery pack? Did I get a variant? Dun dun dun. 
Oh, weird. Okay, I'm gonna keep both until I figure it out, but <laughs> I am fascinated. All right, the next thing I have is this Aloha one. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I'm going to be honest with you because she's so charming. Or he or they, I'm sorry, they are so charming. Look, this is a little Aloha holding a little guitar. $4.50 is from Small World. Again, I am not, or sorry, I don't know why I said again. I'm not a big Small World person, but I just think they make me so happy. Look at the little dance, but I'm going to put it in my traders for now. Next one is Mickey. I'm definitely keeping Mickey. Disney and Christmas together is one of my favorite things. But here's Mickey. He was $6.50. It's a Santa Mickey pin. I just love it. It's just so cute. I Yeah. Uh, the next thing I have is this one, which I can't have seen on trading boards. That's why I bought it. I have no clue what it is. If I'm being honest, it makes me think of like restroom signs. <laughs> like I feel like this would be outside a restroom and then the other one would be outside another restroom. That's what I think of. I don't know what they actually are. I've just seen them on trading posts. So I'm hoping this completes somebody's collection or something like that. Um, along with that is this one. Now this one I bought at a different Bookman's. It's still Bookman's but like a different location. So this one was $5. It's from Star Wars I'm sure. Again I've seen these uh, on trading posts before. Like these little faces. But I haven't seen this one. So maybe this one will be exciting for someone. The one we've been looking at is this. No idea where it's from. I'm assuming it's from the same collection as these ones. But I have no idea. It says bird... Bird feet. <laughs> Disney. I have no clue. I'm sure some of you are probably like, I can't watch this video. She knows nothing. And that is true. Those are facts. Please educate me. The next one that I got is this pin trading Disney uh, Parks pin. I'm definitely keeping this one because... That's us now! Yay! Kind of. Not officially. <laughs> officially not official, but it's just so precious. I'm so excited for this one. Definitely going in my little pile. The next one I have is this. Now, this was $10.50, and they also had like $18 ones and $24 ones in, inside a case. I didn't look at those, but I'm curious how they would be. But if you can see, it has like Mickey and... um. Oh my gosh, why am I spacing Goofy? And they are in Walt Disney World uh, Fairy Magic Kingdom. So I think it's like a fairy pin. I've never written the fairy. Maybe I'll do that this time I go around. But it's just, it's really nice. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm going to keep it. I know eventually I'll probably trade it with someone who like is looking for it. Because I'm not looking for it. But for now I'm going to keep it. <gasps> my favorite! When I saw this, I was like, I need it. I don't know how much it costs, but I need it. Look how cute. So cute. Look at his little paws on the bottom. So cute. $7.50 is his Teddy Duffy. He's just so cute. How can you not? Next one is this Disneyland, like, um, I don't know. <laughs> the shield things. It just says Disneyland uh, Resort. Disneyland is my home park. So anytime I see Disneyland stuff, I'm a sucker for it. And it's Mickey. And I feel like that's a trend now. So I'll probably have a bunch of Mickey. I bought this pennant uh, like little flag. I believe I have one already. I'm going to have to look at my pin board. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay. I think I've seen them on painting trolls. I might keep it just because I like the color. It's my dad's favorite color. So I might just keep it because of that. And it doesn't take that much room on the pin board. It's 450 really cute next thing is this donald duck cupcake i've seen unboxing of these cupcakes so i got it for trading purposes i do love donald duck but i don't really necessarily i'm um, like a cupcake person and i'm sure it's going to complete someone's set so that's why i got this one and it was 550 moving on i have this other uh Duffy Bear and Friends. I already have this one. I actually got it from a pin trading board. So it's going to go back in the pin trading board because I already have one and it was $4. Uh, let's keep going. I'm so sorry. I told you there was a lot. Let me move this back. I have this. <laughs> uh, no idea where it's from. It's a cast member pin. I have seen these where they do like based on their outfits. And in my last haul, we actually bought one and we thought it was uh, Hollywood tower of terror and somebody on the comments was like no that's from cars land and i was like oh <laughs> so i'm not even gonna try to even guess where this is from but i just know it's a cast member pin and it was four dollars it says oh muppet 
Oh, Muppets 3D! I should read the description, shouldn't I? Yes, you should. The Muppet 3D. I'll still take it away. Um, but I do like Muppet 3D. Another pin trader. Pin trading. And this one says around the world. I don't know what this event was. But maybe an Epcot you can pin trade? I don't know. Let me know. Can you? Where's the best spots to pin trade over at Disney World? Because we've done a lot at Disneyland, but not a lot at Disney World. So I would love to know your favorite places to pin trade or the hidden gems. But this is uh, $5.50. I really like it. Um, Johnny Depp, um, Willy Wonka were some of my favorite like rolls growing up. I have this little like uh, prize winning little thing. Does it say anything? Movie Paris Blue. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into this one. But it's one of those like consolation prize ones. I might keep it. I might not. I need to decide. It was five dollars. I think it's oh uh, ears blue. I don't know. I'm probably gonna put in the trader for now just because I'm not sure. And then decide later. This Disneyland pin from Sully. So cute. I've seen this in pin trading like post before and I never get it. And I saw it and I was like, okay, I, I guess I'll get it. But I feel like it's part of a set. So I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I, I don't know. Let me know. I, I can't decide. I love Sully, but I just can't decide. Okay, moving on. <laughs> this one, it's a flag. Um, it says France, uh, flag Disney, $6.50. Definitely keeping it. Je parle un peu de français avec Duolingo. Um, so I'm really trying with my French. Uh, my, my French, it's not good. <laughs> um, no, c'est bon. Je suis désolé. But I am trying, so I'm keeping it. I have this pink Mickey, hidden Mickey, very cute. Definitely keeping, putting it part of my Mickey collection, and it's so cute. I have this one with Tigger. I think I'm gonna trade this one. I love Winnie the Pooh and Friends, but um, I think somebody else would love this. Like I know some people who are obsessed with Winnie the Pooh, um, like Tori in Wonderland, or I don't know. I feel like people who would go and see this in the pin trading board would be excited to see him so i think i'll trade him because i think it'll make him more exciting for someone else i got this jungle book for 1050 i'm definitely keeping this one i think it's so cool i wonder if there's a whole set let me know because now i kind of want them this is 1967 very cool i don't really know much at mowgli right and but, but no i don't know <laughs> i couldn't tell you i haven't seen the movie in a really long time but i just think the pin itself is awesome and it reminds me of my childhood i have this bird no idea where it's from jose sumi zoom zoom again hopefully he completes somebody's collection he's actually really cute but i don't know if i should keep him just because he's cute because i don't even know where or how or who Moving on, another Star Wars Zoom Zoom Zoomy Zoomy one. And this one was $5. Again, another trader. I've seen them on the boards. Pinocchio, I think it's another Zoomy Zoom one. $5. I've seen them on the trading board. I think somebody will like him. And then I have this one. It's either Dewey Wee Wee. <laughs> if you have never seen my channel, you're probably like, what is she talking about? But I have a really bad memory. I should start by telling you that. So I forget a lot of things. Um, Especially names, locations, things like that. But um, I like this one. I like the three of them. But I don't know if I should keep it. Because I kind of would want all three or none. That's how I am with Chip and Dale too. Like I need both or none. So those are the ones that I recently purchased. And then let me show you the ones I already had. Um, and then we'll finish. I Like I said, it is a lot. So give me one second. Let me take these out. Okay, so these are just pins that we've collected or pin traded and then we got home and we're like, mm, maybe not. This one, which I still don't know where it's from, it's from the 50th anniversary. I got it in a box from my Magic at Your Door. I think it's cool. Haven't had the heart to trade it, but I also don't want to keep it. So it's one of those like in limbo. Uh, next we have Lady. I don't know if my husband's going to keep it. I don't want to keep it because again, I would need both. Or nothing. So at this point, it's going to be nothing unless my husband wants to keep it. Then we have a set that we bought at Disneyland that we're going to trade. I still don't know if I want to get rid of these two. I'm going to take them as backups to this. Um, and if I don't need to trade them, then I won't because I kind of want to keep them. But I also don't mind if I trade them, if that makes sense. So these three came from a pack of five. I think it was like five for 30. So that's where they came from. Then we have another uh, chip. Again, I'm trading him because I need Dale. Sorry, buddy. We have another Duffy. I don't know 
why I'm not sold on this Duffy. Like, as you can tell, I love Duffy. But for some reason, when I look at this pin, nothing. Like, I just feel nothing for it. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. <laughs> Close your ears. But yeah, so I'm going to trade that one. We have the one that, uh, thank you for one of you who commented, that it's not a uh, Matterhorn. It's uh, Mater, <laughs> Mater something. And we don't like Cars Land or Cars. So, yeah, trading that one. And then another one of Duffy's that I'm just not sold. Like, I just... I have the one that I just showed you, right? So maybe now I will keep it so I can start making a collection out of it. <sighs> but I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not sold. I don't know. And then we have three that still have their back card or the card stock or I don't know what the thing. We have this one I got in Magic at Your Door. My husband didn't want it and I couldn't tell you much about it. So that one. And then these two that I got at out Outlet. It's just two marble ones. We have the Hulk and we have Captain America. And that's it. So this is the overall view. These are the ones that I'll probably keep. And these are all the ones that we're going to trade. <sighs> yeah, so. I lied. I missed one. <laughs> um, this Lotso pin, which I'm definitely keeping. I've seen him in trading posts, but I run out of pins by the time I see him. I am keeping him for sure. I hope you okay. enjoyed seeing all of the pins. Hopefully, I didn't go too quickly or too slowly. I tend to do both <laughs> at times. Please let me know in the comments which ones were good, which ones I should keep, um, or which ones are bad for trading, just so I don't buy them again. Um, because I don't want to buy things that people don't want. So it's kind of hard buying pins, knowing you're going to trade them and figuring out if they're worth trading, like if somebody's going to want them or if they're also going to see them as traders. I would love to know. But yeah, I hope you like this. Please like this video and subscribe so you can see our pin journey when I actually take these to Disney World and you see it in action. And so that you can see what I end up with after my pin trades and see if there was an L or a W. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I think I said that. I'm losing my mind. I hope you have a great day. And until next time, bye.